What's going on, everybody? Brian Magaliu on post game after Texas Women's took on Western New Mexico, falling to the Mustangs two to nothing. I'm joined alongside head coach Amber Barker. Coach, first off, disappointing result, but you have to be proud of the way that Bailey Turner went out there, tossed the complete game, threw six strikeouts. What, what's your assessment of her performance here this evening? I mean, Bailey and, for the most part, our bullpen have been doing a great job all year. They've kept us in ball games. They've given us opportunities to win. I mean, two runs here and there, one run, three runs that other teams put on us. Um, so they've been doing a good job. We just haven't been giving them the offensive support. And despite the loss, before the game, we had some – Really cool pregame festivities. Hall of Fame head coach, uh, Coach Baker, came out, tossed the first pitch, greeted the seniors of both teams. How special was it having her out here today? It was important. It was huge. Um, obviously, this is her field. This is her legacy. This is what she's built here. So she wanted those seniors to feel special. Um, she wanted what we we're doing this weekend and today, especially something to be a special event. So it was huge to have her throw out the first pitch, and it really meant a lot to us um, to have her back here. A couple weeks ago, we had the 1979 championship team. So just to know that we have that alumni backing, that support, um, it really means a lot to us. And you mentioned today was also a special day, the Pride game, first ever Pride game. Um, for you, what does it mean to have softball be the first team to actually host the Pride game here at TWU? Well, it means a ton because our athletes who are on our student athlete advisory committee um, helped bring this up. And so it was huge for them to see something come to fruition, um, such as the Pride game. And it's about inclusion. It's about diversity, inclusion, and loving everyone. So I think it was important. It was really important for us. And that's, again, one of the reasons Coach Baker wanted to throw out the first pitch because she wanted to stand in solidarity. She wanted those players to feel like, hey, we've got your back and to know that this cause and everything is bigger than ourselves individually. So I'm glad for us to be able to do it. I understand it's the first TWU sponsored um, pride event. So we're looking forward to doing it again in the future. Um, and just again, extending that love and inclusion to everyone. And now you guys get back to work tomorrow, final two games of the regular season. How do you bounce back and what's the mindset going to be like heading into the final two games of the year? Sure. I mean, the mindset is just that. These are our last two games um, for our seniors. This is their last time on this field playing and having these jerseys on. Um, the mindset is go out, do it for them. That's what this whole weekend was supposed to be about anyway. Give it to them. Give them everything that you have. Come out on the winning end of it um, and send them off with a good on a good note. Uh, so that's the point. That's uh, that's the plan. And we've got two more to do it again tomorrow. Um, and I'm hoping we come out and do just that. Well, thank you so much for joining us. You could catch Senior Day tomorrow. First pitch of game one of tomorrow's doubleheader will be at 1 p.m. right here at Diane Baker Field. For more on your pioneers, be sure to check out TWUathletics.com.